I am Anthony from HashnessNet, and today we will be unboxing Transformers Fall of Cybertron Blaster and all five of his discs, including Steeljaw, Eject, Rewind, Ramhorn, and Sunder. Unlike previous How to Transform videos, this will be my first time unboxing and handling each bot. Being approximately seven years old, I anticipate Blaster and his discs to have joint issues from lack of use. The bots are seven years old, not me. I am not seven years old. This has proven to be typical in my experience of acquiring older sealed bots. Their joints, not my joints. My joints creak already, but I mean these older bots, toys, joints. We'll see if it's a problem. But when we return, may Primus be with us. Okay, so welcome back. So we're going to open these guys up. Uh, typically, by the time I do a video, I've played with them for a little bit, figured out how they transform and stuff. And the one thing I've realized is the instructions that typically come with a transformer aren't great because the pictures are typically white and black outlines with colors of either red or purple, depending on if there's Autobot or Decepticon. So that's been problematic. But um, so... I got these three online through eBay from three different sellers, and I think I got them close to retail, which I assume they were collected for the purpose of being valuable at some point, but I guess it never happened, because I believe, I, I paid $70 for everything in total. Uh, that includes shipping and handling taxes or whatever, and that sounds about right as far as MSRP is concerned. I, you can look it up, confirm, leave a comment if, if you know for a fact, and I feel like that's a good number. But uh, I was never a fan of the Transformers like Megatron and uh, Shockwave and Soundwave and Blaster that transformed into life-size items. It just really didn't work when everybody else was cars and trucks that were like scale size. Uh, so like um, when Shock, or, sorry, Soundwave came out as a vehicle during Animated, I grabbed that. Because I also thought he looked cool, uh, but uh, I didn't see Blaster as anything available, and then I didn't know he'd come out as far full of Cybertron character. But then recently, I noticed just all of them came out at once, like in three different sellers. I was like, oh, well, okay, I'll grab them all. Uh, for example, I also grabbed like um, the the uh, Combiner Wars um, Shockwave because he can be turned into a cannon for a Combiner. So I thought, okay, that that works out. So he's not a life-size gun. Uh, Megatron, I love the tank motif, but I got the triple changer Megatron. But I also have the, the uh, uh, Beast Wars Megatron, the uh, Transmetal one. So um, different things, I guess. So the first thing I wanted to do was pull this one apart. Now this one, I, again, these are seven years old. Um, so I assume, and it feels like it, the, the glue just stopped working. So it already pretty much came apart. But uh, I haven't opened it yet, and here's the instructions still intact. I'm not going to... When I open new stuff, I like to smell it, but I mean, it's seven years old, so let's not do that. That's, that's weird. Okay, so uh, I, I have a fingernail clippers. This is like the best thing to take apart glue in, you know, from cardboard without doing too much damage. I used to use scissors, um, and I might have to use scissors with the little... Uh, if there's... Yeah, little, little um, I don't know, strings or whatever... But for this purpose, this is just the cut between the cardboard, because I like to save the backs. Uh, sometimes they have stats or something cool on them. Uh, yeah, this one does too, like classic stats. So th this I'll keep. The rest of this I'm going to toss. So, But we'll put this aside for right now. And um, so he has instructions. We'll just put that away. And then we put this down. So. Oh. Just pop that right off. Oh, there you go. Okay, so my understanding, based on what I have seen, is they all have little boxes like like this, and there's just holes in the bottom. That's a little weird, but let's see if I can figure out how. Can I just pop them out? Yeah, they can just pop them out. Ugh, just pop them out. Okay, 
So this is those little feet. So a very awkward standing guy. Um, not quite sure. Like, and I, I figure like the blaster box is the worst way to try to stand him up. I'm gonna switch this over. Ah. I'm sure there's instructions, but I don't want to spend all day doing that. Let's see. Um, let's see if I can... Cause, I mean, you would figure... Because they have to be able to eject and come back into form, right? So... It looks kind of like this, or they go halfway. Now I'm going to feel like I'm going to have to cheat. Well, what about him? His head folds, his tail folds... Okay, this one seems a little bit more self-explanatory. His head goes in. Oh, there's just a lot of working parts here. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, that's pretty freaky cool, but uh, I'm not quite sure what I do with it. Um, you can see it forms a disc. His head goes in. That connects there. Doesn't look like it goes around or anything. Maybe one goes on top, one goes at the bottom. Well, it, it's required a lot more logic than I thought. It. I'm gonna put these cases aside. I'm gonna be here forever if I do this. Okay, let's open up this one. Oh, yes, yeah, see, you can see like um, yeah, it just peeled right off. I didn't have to do anything. So yeah, the years of uh, weakening the glue and the uh, casing. Some of these are gold. I wonder if that's significant. These guys. Uh, Here's their back. And this picture's changed now shows uh, eject. I, I swear I said poops, but it says pops. Pops. Let's see if I can. I mean, he's going to be the same mechanic, but what about him? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. In my brain, I'm like, I thought I had it for a sec. there. Oh, there's like a button at the bottom, and I pushed it. Oh, my mistake. What I was expecting was, like, joint issues, but maybe I'm having a little lock in here is not working issue. But, I mean, Ramhorn just seems like he just wants to go together. Oh, I got Ramhorn together. So, and then I'll put him in his little box. I'm going to go in your little box. I guess it's so he doesn't pop out. There's a little, little, little lever here. And he's in his box. He go nap nap. For giggles, we'll move on. Just taking too long at this thing. Kill ten minutes looking at these three guys, and, or four guys, and I've already only done one. Time for the big show. So, um... I love Blaster. Again, I never really liked the super big bot, you know, being a... It was like Perceptor. He, he can shrink to any size. Or, or, or what was it? The uh, size displacement thing where Megatron could be a huge gun, but he can also be a small gun. I, I think it always bothered me. It's never something I really particularly liked about the the mechanic of trying to explain mass displacement. It mm, always bothered me. But, yeah, here we are. Okay, so he has some cords. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut it with this thing, but let's find out. Uh, looks like I might have to actually borrow a pair of scissors, so... Okay, so... He is a big guy, and he has a... plastic cover... on him. Is it rubber band in? Yeah, it is.
guess this is a job for tweez or female clippers. There we go. Guess to keep his drawer from opening. So it's not really a true drawer by the looks of it, because it, it doesn't have anything in the back per se. But then there's the disc launcher here where I'm gonna push the centerpiece. On ram harm, don't deject. Uh, there you go. Well, I assume I would put ram horn. There we go, ram horn inside. And then then maybe this is where I get cool. Let's see if I can do it. Ram horn transform. Oh. Okay, maybe not so cool. But I mean there he goes, he transforms, so. Just have to push on he didn't transform and he ejected him. But you know what you're gonna do. Okay. So Oh, this little switch actually does that. I forced it out wrong way. Okay. Let's try one more time. Because that's kinda cool. Just remember not to, to press that button at the bottom. Looks like you can hold maybe two. Two of these guys. Put ram horn in, everything in. That yeah, looks like it, okay. Is there a way to put it in and Okay. So Okay, let's try again. Oh, there he goes. He transformed. I oh, you didn't see it was off camera. But his horn didn't pop out, so... Take it for what you will, I guess. But that, that was kind of cool. That was nifty. Okay. So let's check out Steeljaw. He got a little bit of tape on him. Or rubber band just to kill that. Oh. And if you do order this online, make sure it says with steel jaw because there's a lot of people selling it without steel jaw for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure why, but it's inflated pricing too. It's just very weird. The steel jaw looks kind of cool. It's like his legs fold up. Pretty straightforward now, isn't he? Oh yeah, he does. Oh, what did I do? I folded up the back end too fat. Uh, what did I do? Okay. Oh, there we go. Back around the back. Front into the side. Well, you gotta you gotta be good at these things. This is like a puzzle. Now, if I win, am I the king of games? Is this how this works? Do I get to call the pharaoh whenever I need to win a card game? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, okay so let's see if we can transform this guy so we can wrap up today. Okay, so... I do like the uh, the classic way he looks, though. I, I can't hate that too much. Right, so he turns into a truck. Kinda like Shockwave and animated. Um, so I'm see this maybe goes out here. I see his fist is out here. I guess it goes in when we're gonna transform. Let's see. His head doesn't go anywhere. Looks like there's some rotation with his legs. Okay, so legs go in like this. You got some clicky joints. I'm not hating that. I'm so far happy that there's nothing like being weird joint wise. Because uh, something else about this before was like really weird joint wise. Um, I feel like I'm going the right way. 
I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna cut forward in time and see if I can figure this out. Okay, so we're back and um, I had to look at the instructions and then I realized, at least in, in a couple of cases, uh, the pieces were packaged with um, the joints the wrong way, which made sense why I couldn't figure it out. And um, and then, as I expected, uh, some of the pieces just didn't want to move the way I thought they should. Uh, again, seven years old, so it happens. But uh, as you see, I finally got Blaster finished, and I think he looks pretty cool. Um, because he still retains this front piece, which is, you know, the classic tape deck version. And uh, and now he's technically just a, a car or a, maybe a hybrid SUV of some sort. And, of course, his gun's on top of here. But um, the one thing that bothers me a little bit is he got like, a peek a window because his head is actually still in there. You can see it if you look through here. But, uh, I mean, otherwise, I think it looks cool. Uh, but you it really had to try hard to get the joints to comply to get the legs to connect with the arms. But otherwise, it worked out, so I'm happy with it. And then with these guys, um, at least uh, in his case, his arms were backwards for some reason, so I had to fix it. And uh, now it's working, and, and there he goes. He's perfectly fine. And then, of course, his arms were backwards as well. And oof! As you see, his arms are now more forward, which is the way they're supposed to be. And this does a cool, like, flipping thing where his head goes into his back. And then his shell just closes around him. And by that quick, he's put away. Uh, him, you just fold his back. And then you, um, sorry, kind of bend his torso over his head, which is a very awkward yoga position, I imagine, and this is where the joint is, like, kind of hard to do it with, and, and again, I want to say maybe it's because of the age, but uh, it, it's difficult, but once it's done, and and it gets to where it needs to be, and he locks into place, and now, sometimes I think maybe it's a combination of having the legs all the way out and doing it at the same time, but it, it's just not easy, and then these are probably not for kids. But uh, now I can put them into their cases, but then I quickly realized Steel Job does not have a case. So I guess he permanently resides in Blaster otherwise, but uh, that is uh, pretty nifty here. So yeah, that is Fall of Cybertron Blaster, and um, that is my first unboxing for Transformers. And I think it was worth, worth the $70. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.